Dear friends, now in this video, we are going to discuss sensors, their construction and importance in electronic control module that is ECM. In the last video, we have discussed about the meaning of the electronic control modules as well as the meaning of the electronic control unit itself. So we come to know this particular ECM or ECU is very very important in every modern day car or every modern day automobile. It is very essential. So in this particular theme, the one of the very important input which is required by the electronic control unit and that is nothing but called the sensor. Now in this video, we are going to discuss everything about the sensor, what is the meaning of sensor, what are the different types of the sensors are available, how it will work, everything we are going to discuss in this video. So it is well known that the feature of automotive technology development is that more and more components are controlled by electronics. Engine sensors in a vehicle are incorporated to provide the correct amount of fuel for all operating conditions. A large number of input sensors are monitored by the engine control unit. Today, sensor technology has become common in every modern vehicles. According to the role of the sensors, which can be classified into the temperature sensor, pressure sensor, flow sensor, position sensor, gas concentration sensor, speed sensor, brightness sensor, dry humidity sensor, distance sensors, and so on. All the above sensors uh, perform their own duties. Once a certain sensor doesn't work, the corresponding device will work abnormally or even not work. Therefore, the sensors are extremely vital, especially for the car. So, how the sensor will work? This is a very important question. A sensor converts the physical action to be measured into an electrical equivalent and processes it so that the electrical signals can be easily sent and further processed. The sensor can output whether an object is present or not present that is a binary system or what measurement value has been reached that is nothing but analog or digital signal so this way the sensor will be work okay so when we talk about the different components of the sensor here we have the sensor construction okay so it is divided in three part one two and three so with the help of the diagram we can understand a sensor consisting of three main component the first component the sensing section so this is the sensing section contains the sensor itself which is based on a particular technology so many latest technology are in the market of this particular sensor the so that particular technological thing is present at this point first and this is the sensing section contains the sensor itself which is based on a particular technology the variety of technologies means you can select the sensor technology which fits your application so it is again depending on how much preciseness how much precise results you require again depending upon the cost of the sensor we can select the thing so this is one of the major element in every sensor the processing circuitry that is the second point or the second part the processing circuitry convert the physical variable into an electrical variable so whatever sense uh, by this first component then the whatever physically it will be sent then it will be convert by the second uh, device or the second component into electrical signal or in the electrical variable the third component that is again the output signal or the signal output which contains the electronics connected to a control system so this part is again connected to the control system if you see over here again there are few threads here is the external thread and here is the internal thread this third portion that is signal output contains electronic connected to the control system so this uh, further part which is connected to the further control system so this is something about the construction of each and every sensor itself so the various sensor technology help you in detecting or measuring the objects depending on the technology the sensors output uh, a switching signal or measurement value 
So in this case, uh, the inductive sensors generate an electromagnetic field. This in turn generates eddy currents in objects made of the metal. The sensor detects this change. When we talk about the capacitive sensor uh, generate a capacitive measuring field and entering object results in a change to the measuring field, the sensor responds to this particular change. When we talk about the photoelectric sensor generally for light curtains, always consist of emitter and receiver. There are diffuse uh, retroreflective and through beam types are present over there. Ultrasonic sensors send out a sound pulse in the inaudible range. The echo from the object is processed. Magnetic field sensor detect an external magnet. The field strength generated by the magnet is processed. When we talk about the magnetostrictive sensor detect the position of an external magnet using propagation time. Measurement. So this is something about uh, the sensor and uh, the use itself. So after this one again uh, here we have the name of so many types of sensors which are present in modern car or the modern automobiles and these are the different functions of it. So when we talk about the engine speed sensor its function is to monitor spinning speed of the crankshaft then the fuel temperature sensors uh, function ensures the right amount of fuel uh, which subjected to keep motion smooth then spark knock sensor is useful to ensure fuel is burned correctly voltage sensor which is again useful to manage car speed and ensure speed is controllable when we talk about the map sensor that measures uh, manifold pressure uh, inside and outside oxygen sensor is good to measure the unburdened oxygen presented in exhaust pipe when we talk about the map maf map sensor calculates density volume of air taken in by engine so the air fuel ratio meter is useful or this sensor is useful to monitor correct air fuel ratio of the engine the crank position sensor used to monitor the piston top dead centers that is a tdc position in an engine so if you see everywhere the use of sensor is there and so many functions are doing by the sensor itself the throttle position sensor is to monitor the position of throttle in engine cam position sensor is useful to monitor the position of wall in engine this knock sensor is to detect the engine knocking due to timing advance and the engine coolant temperature sensor major engine temperature so these are the few examples of varieties of the sensor again in modern day automobiles so many extra types of sensors are there and accordingly the engine management system cost will be again very much at higher side so this is about the picks of the different types of the sensor here we have the different sensor the color sensor is like this one this is alcohol sensor gas sensor then the ldr light sensor thermistor temperature sensor this is a proximity sensor this is the real picks of the different types of the sensor which are available in modern day automobile this is ir sensor this is again reflective type ir touch sensor uh, humidity sensor photo transistor so these all are the electric electronic sensors are there and we can use such kind of uh, sensor in the uh, modern automobile so i hope you understood the, the things thoroughly about uh, the sensor itself so thank you so much for watching the session